I like to give a shout out and salute to the brothers across the four corners of the earth trying to preach this truth and say the elect. Hopefully you and me is one of them. I like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. I believe those are the men sent forth during this time to wake us up. I believe those are the prophets, okay? So yeah, let's go get into this, okay? Because what you're seeing is a, a video about them messing with the kids, right? And this video led to something else, okay? So we, we uh, someone that I believe, we're going to play the video, but I'm going to show you what this led to, okay? Okay, I, I call um, America Mystery Babylon, okay? And I'll put a scripture up pertaining to this video, and someone commented on it and said I, didn't, I was going off, so let's see, okay? I'm going to show you that comment, and then we're going to play this video, okay? Okay, this is me, friends of the prophets. Okay, I put up Revelation 18 too. Okay, the angel shouted with a powerful voice. She has destroyed the great city of Babylon is destroyed. She has become a home for demons. That city has become a place for every unclean spirit to live. She's a city filled with all kinds of unclean birds. She is a place where every unclean and hated animal lives. Shalom, okay. And this is what someone... um said okay well she took the comment down okay i don't know why they did that okay it was ann murphy she took the comment down what she put up was that america's not biblically babylon okay and i asked her then what is america in the bible and this is what she put up okay and we're going to get into this. Now, normally, I wouldn't even deal with this. I normally don't even deal with Christians because they go off so bad that there's no edification in talking to them. But she kind of had the uh, spirit with though she weren't being disrespectful. So I'll go ahead and filter through the scriptures. And hopefully, anyone who's new or any Christian to see this, they'll be able to see that America is Babylon. Okay. So yeah, let's deal with this. This is what she says. Uh, Marcus, color scarlet and purple. Also, Mystery Babylon is a city, not a nation. The two cities, she put Revelation 17, 27 and Revelation 18, 10. Okay, the two cities often touted as candidates of Washington, D.C. and New York. But Washington, D.C. isn't a port city and New York doesn't sit on seven hills. Although some have tried geographically, geographical gymnastics to try and make it do so. The slave trade is legal. Revelation 18, 11 through 13. So we're going to visit all them scriptures that she put up. Okay. While this was a part of the USA and many other nations past, it is not now and hasn't been for quite some time. Human enslavement, however, is a basic tenet of Islam. So she, she, I get the impression she's blaming Islam, okay, which is also a false religion, okay? Mystery Babylon murders Christians, is literally drunk on the blood of the saints. So we are looking for a city that regularly persecutes and murders Christians. What city in the U.S. has any such history? And see, this is why we tell you Christians and Christianity, they are clueless to what is going on. They have no idea we're living in the last seconds, okay? And this place is going to be utterly destroyed, and they can't see it because the Most High is blocking them from it, okay? So we're going to play this video, and then we're going to filter what she said through the scriptures, okay? We're going to visit this, and we're going to prove to her, and any, uh, any other Christian to see this, that America is Mystery Babylon, okay? So yeah, let's go and deal with this. Trans 
model to ever walk in New York Fashion Week, and she's only 10 years old. Now, her parents are both transmasculine and said that she started showing signs of gender dysphoria at two years old, and then she began to social transition at age four after undergoing psychological therapy for this gender dysphoria, and that she never felt like she was a boy and was always attracted to feminine things. Now, this poor boy was transitioned and groomed and exploited by its parents at the age of two years old. Now, Noella's parents have already stated that they have already set up for Noella to undergo medical and surgical transitioning by the time she is 16 years old, and they already have plans for puberty blockers and other things prior to that point. This is a prime example of child exploitation and abuse and these parents forcing their own ideologies and agenda onto children and it should be illegal. This is the definition of Munchausen's by proxy. This whole definition of Munchausen's by proxy. This whole narrative of being inclusive and affirming is really just chemically castrating these kids, getting them hooked on big pharma for the rest of their lives and is psychologically abusing children. Get your hands off our kids. So this girl... Now, you heard all that madness, and that's why I put up the scriptures that I put up, because this place is a place of madness, okay? It's Babylon, Sodom, and Egypt, Sodom and Gomorrah, everything, okay? Now, yeah, let's get into this. And remember, I put up Revelation 18, too. Now, we're going we're gonna to prove to her, because I like what she did, right? She put up the two cities often touted as candidates of Washington, D.C. and New York. They say, but Washington, D.C. isn't a port city and New York doesn't sit on seven hills. Okay. Now, if you reverse that, New York is a port city. Okay. And Washington, D.C. sit on seven hills. But we're going to deal with that later. That That's okay. I don't really uh, get into that too much because that doesn't determine that doesn't um, negate. Washington, D.C., or the United States from being Babylon, okay? So, yeah, let's go, um, like I said, let's deal with this, and we're going to prove that this place is Babylon, okay? This is Acts 13, verse 1, and there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger, which is not Niger, was nigger, and Lucis of Cyrene, and Main Manin, which had been brought up with Harod the Tetrad, and Saul. Now, I'm going to show you what she said. Okay, when you look at the bottom of the screen, she say, um, the slave trade is legal, okay, but she failed to realize that those niggas are the ones that are living in America now. That's why they call us that. Okay? The Negroes of the Bible, okay, are us. Okay? She would she she would believe that we just we just Africans instead of her realizing that the Negroes of America, the Negroes, Latinos, Natives are actually Israelites of the Bible. Okay? Now she didn't mention the slave trade um, in Deuteronomy, so we're going to go there, okay? Because it's, it's hard for Christians to figure out what's going on because they deny so much of the scriptures, okay? They, they really don't read the book, okay? So, yeah, let's keep going. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 60. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way where I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And no man shall buy you. Okay? The Negroes, Latinos, and Natives went on slave ships. Okay? As slaves and were sold into bondage. Okay? Bondmen and bondwomen. And no one was able to redeem us. Okay? And we still have a social security number. That's traded on uh, Wall Street. Wall Street is where the first slaves were sold. A lot of people don't talk about that. Okay? They line you up on the wall and sell you out on the street. Okay? That's why it's called Wall Street. I know. I invest. Okay? Let's keep going. 
Now, at the bottom, it say Mystery Babylon. This is what you said. Mystery Babylon murders Christians. Is lowly drunk on the blood of the saints. So we're looking for a city that regularly persecutes and murders Christians. Okay. What city in the U USA has any such history? See, they don't know that we're the Israelites. They can't see it. This is why we see the destruction. We know we're in the final seconds, but a lot of Christians can't see it. Okay. Now watch this. All right, and, and them same niggas that was out there teaching that, that, that um, I just showed you when they was calling us that back then. This is Acts 11, verse 26. And when he found him, he brought him onto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Okay, which a lot of people don't know. When they used to call us niggas, when they was calling us Christians, that also was a derogatory term, okay? Because Christians was the ones that, that was following um, the Savior, right? Yahweh, okay? They was, that was us that believed on him, okay? But it was actually a derogatory term. A lot of people don't uh, talk about that, okay? And this is why we say Christians. You go to church... You uh, follow Christianity. It's a high probability that you wanna you wanna take the uh, MOTB, the Karagma, and be destroyed. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, so in actuality, since we were called the Christians, they've been murdering Christians ever since they came here because we the real Christians. See, and, and the reason the church they keep you away from the truth. That's why they had these churches set up. Okay, certain things in church you can't say when you take that 501c3. Okay, let's keep going. All right, this is Revelation 17, verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Nobody on planet Earth has more bases than the United States. The United States had uh, close to, what, 800 bases around the world on, on every continent, okay? This is them sitting on many waters because waters can also go into people, okay? With whom the kings of the Earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the Earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication, Okay? Everybody, all these different nations that picked up the ways of America. The word America actually goes into the word better. Right? Now, every nation has fornicated with America. Every nation. Because fornicate, fornication can mean pretty much just uh, dealing uh, with that nation and using their customs and their ways. All this madness of America... With all these different weird movements, the alphabet movement, they're trying to push that on every nation. A lot of nations picked it up using the dollar. The dollar was the most used currency ever, especially paper currency, okay? And people have been drunk with this, um, with America's ways, right? Let's keep going. Okay, America has murdered hundreds of millions of natives, Negroes, and Latinos. They all are Israelites, okay? That's the, the we didn't prove that a hundred times over. I'm not going to go into it, okay? If if you're Christian and you're in Christianity and you can't see that, that um, as I showed you the word nigga in the Bible, if you can't see that the niggas living in the United States are the um, Israelites from the tribe of Judah, it, you can go watch all of the videos uh, we didn't did on it. Latinos come from the northern kingdom of Israel. So do Native Americans, okay? There's hundreds of books on Native Americans being Israelites, okay? And they, they tell you that. I'm not going to go into it right now. I'm just trying to show you that this place is Mystery Babylon. Let's keep going. Now, you said that the two mm -hmm. cities. Now, New York was the, um, the original capital. A lot of people don't know that, right? Let's get it. And then you said uh, D.C. don't sit on seven hills. And you say New York don't sit on seven hills. 
and you said uh, DC isn't a port city. You actually reversed it. Okay. DC sit on seven hills and New York is a port city. Okay. Let's keep going. Now, this is called the Potomac Waterways. Okay. This is called the World Port Source. Okay. Now, the Potomac River runs up from out of the Chesapeake Bay. The Chesapeake Bay connects down to the Atlantic Ocean. Okay. And I used to um, disclaim, I used to work in D.C. and deliver to all them federal buildings before I was in the truth. Okay. And used to have to go underground and all that other shit over there. And I, I could feel it in my spirit that something was wrong with these people. Okay. Now, you got three ports off the Potomac River going up through D.C. Through the, um, um, the Washington Harbor. Okay. It's right here on the map. Okay. You can research it yourself. Okay. But guess what else? Because you said Washington, D.C. was not a poor city. I'm going to show you something. Okay, let's get into the Seven Hills. Washington, D.C. has Seven Hills. Okay, but that's not that's not important as to why this place is Mystery Babylon. But I'm still going to show it to you. Now, an another thing you said was New York doesn't sit on Seven Hills. Well, New York has over 200 hills. Okay. Now, another thing you said, the slave trade is illegal in Revelation 18, 11 through 13. Okay, yeah, it, it is legal. But you had a year in Jubilee, which is the seventh year, you're supposed to release your, um, your slave. And America used to do that, but you, you, you got rid of it. Okay, this country got rid of it. So we're going to read that. Okay, and then we're going to keep going. Okay. Now, really, uh, Revelation 18 is all talking about America, okay? Now, watch this, because you said 11 through 13, okay? So, we're going to do that. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth the merchant, merchandise anymore. The merchant, merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and of pearls, fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all thy wood and all manner of vessels of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and iron and, ma and marble and cinnamon and odors and ointments and frankincense and wine and oil and fine flour and wheat and beast and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. Okay? Yeah. Because you guys had us in slavery over here. You enslaved uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Natives. Okay? Yeah, that, that's talking about this place. All of, pretty much all of, um, Chapter 18. Okay. Let's keep going. Now, people have been saying this for a minute, but look at this. This The Statue of Liberty, actually a man, the iconic statue was, which has been standing in New York Harbor as a symbol of freedom and opportunity since 1886, may actually be modeled after Mail, a new discovery family program, Secret of America's Favorite Places. Now, the Statue of Liberty was actually a gift from the French, okay? And it was actually a, a slave woman. When you actually visit the Statue of Liberty, they show you um, the slave at the base. A lot of people don't go into that. I'm going to pull, I'll show you the picture. And they, the uh, French had to send it back three times because America kept refusing it, okay? So I'm going to show you the original picture, Okay. Now, the picture to the left, you can see the uh, chain around her neck. It was one of the original pictures of what supposed to have been the Statue of Liberty. Okay. Now, the other uh, ones, they won't even show you. Because, see, it's going to be a famine of the world. Okay. So, a lot of stuff, they, they're starting to uh, take it off the internet. Okay. This truth is going to be off the internet pretty soon. Okay. Now... I'm going to show you, but, um, because you tried to say that um, there's no seven hills when it comes to uh, New York City or Washington, D.C., okay? I showed you that Washington, D.C. was actually a port city, okay? But now I'm going to show you that it also has seven hills, all right? So, yeah, let's go and get into that, because this place is Mystery Babylon, okay? 
And it was not talking about a city. It was talking about the entire nation. Okay. It, it, it's a city. However. Okay. You, you can kind of like um, interchange city and nation. Okay. Because actually. And when you go back to nation. That didn't, that didn't deal with um, geographics. That dealt with uh, people. Just like how you had the nation of Israel, the nation of Moab, okay, the um, you know, um, you know, just different named nations. They was named at the people first, okay. So yeah, sometimes you can say city, but city can also mean a nation, okay. So yeah, let's go and um deal with this uh DC situation, okay. With the seven hills. Now. We just going to use Wikipedia, but there's uh, better resources. The Seven Hills of Rome, east of the River Tiber, from the geographical heart of Rome, within the walls of the city, okay? Which is actually in the um, city, okay? And this is Rome. See, this is the geographical map of the seven uh, cities, the seven hills inside of Rome, okay? Now watch this, okay? Okay, these are the seven hills in Washington, D.C. Capitol Hill, Meridian Hill, Floor Hills, Forest Hills, Hillbrook, Hillcrest, and Knox Hill. Now watch this. We're going we to go even deeper, okay? Now, I already knew that it was uh, seven hills in D.C. because I used to work in D.C., okay? I used to have to uh, go to all the federal buildings, right? But I'm going to show you something. I didn't even know this. I knew that it was seven hills in D.C., but check this out. This is from Double Seven from many years ago. I didn't know that, right? Three years ago. Now watch this. All right. Now I'm a player, but I want to read you this first. Okay. This is Revelation uh, 17, the New King James Version, and if if possible, use the uh, King James 1611 uh, version. Okay. Here is the mind which has wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which the woman sits. Then he said to me, the waters which you saw where the harlot sits are peoples, multi multitudes, nations, and tongues. See? Because sometimes the same way city can go on a nation, hill can sometimes deal with people. The hills or the mountains, that can deal with a, a nation's government. Okay? That's what that means sometimes. Okay? And a woman... Whom you saw is that great city which reigns over the kings of the earth. All right. Could Washington, D.C. be the end times mystery Babylon city? It is possible. Some Christians are pretty dogmatic that it must be Rome. See, because a lot of people actually believe that. They don't see the destruction of this place, even though we see all this stuff happening here. Okay. This guy says, I'm not. Don't get me wrong. It could be Rome. I just don't think that it must be 100%. But so I actually do not think this issue is very important. It will be a city much like Rome and Apostle John's time that ruled over the entire world. There are some evidence that Washington, D.C. is built on seven hills. Okay. Now watch this. We're going to let this play. I've got a strange piece of information that I want to share with you. We have, in the description of the United States of America, District of Columbia, connections to modern time, the Tiber River. This is the Tiber River in Rome, the Vatican, the new Pope Francis. Am I correct? So, on the Tiber River in Rome, right now, we have Pope Francis. Am I correct? Check this out. As you read through here, and I'll leave a link so you guys can come and check this out. Check this out. In 1669, which is an anagram for 1666. A parcel of land called Rome was laid out of Francis Pope. 
extending to the south of an inlet called Tiber. This gentleman, Pope of Rome on the Tiber, was sheriff of Charles County, and in all probability, a Catholic. You have, in 1669, a piece of land called Rome, owned by a Francis Pope, next to an inlet of water called the Tiber. How crazy is that? I'll leave a link. Let me know what you guys think. Dabu 7. Now you can read this doing your leisurely. I'm going to put the link in the description box. But this goes into how those seven hills in D.C. literally uh, are similar to the ones in Rome. But this is the part I want you to see. Okay? Because I didn't know this. Francis Pope, original landowner of Washington, D.C., also known as Rome. See, that's serious, right? Serious. And you do have a Rome, New York, too, right? But we're dealing with D.C. because this is where the capital is at, okay? Now, this is what it says. I've done extensive research on the beginners of Washington, D.C., as my Burns family owned much of the old downtown of present day Washington. So this person family used to own part of it. While conducting this research I came across Francis Pope of the original owners of the land that became Washington DC. Not only are we connected in that way, but Francis wife Margaret Porter is probably the sister of another ancestor ancestor, Joanna Porter, the second wife of John Neville, who came to America on the Ark and the Dove. Okay? One of them old ships Okay, just like the uh, ship Jesus that you, you Israelites came on here as slaves and they got you worshiping a man named Jesus, okay? Which there's no J in the hist in, um, the Hebrew, okay? Below is from original patentees of land at Washington by Bessie Romoff Graham. Francis Pope, owner of Rome on the Tiber, January 5th, 1663. You see that? And, and they, they go them three sixes, right? And an anagram for them. Actually, are convinced that Pope's Rome was on the site where our nation's capital building now stands. We understand why the name Rome faded away from the area of the national capital in so complete a manner. You see that? And it goes on and on and on. Okay? It goes on and on and on. I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'll put the link in the description box. But yeah, this place is Mystery Babylon. Okay? The harlot that sit on many waters. Alright? I'm going to get a scripture and shut it down. Revelation 18 verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burnt with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning. Standing afar for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for one hour is thy judgment come. All right? So yeah, I just wanted to get this out to the family. Um, yeah, this place is Mystery Babylon. If you can't see it and you stuck in Christianity, you better ask the Lord to get you out of it, get you out of the churches, because we're in the last seconds. I'll see you again real soon. Call her law, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakar Kadash, Ababa Shalom.